what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Video has emerged from a December 14, 2018 incident of the police in Key West, Florida, arresting an eight-year-old boy who attended Gerald Adams Elementary School. Backstory. The kid, his substitute teacher says, was acting up. He did not want to sit properly on his lunch bench. So you know it's going down. This is totally egregious, big time crime. So the teacher who was a substitute did not know that the boy had a special education plan in place to assist him with his disabilities. So she forcibly removed the kid and when the kid acted out and hit her, she called the police and escalated the situation. Now, they're saying that the substitute teacher did not know that the kid had a plan in place, but even if she didn't know, she's not supposed to be grabbing on the kid and trying to forcibly remove him because he don't want to sit properly on a damn lunch bench. Family, this country is too militarized. The police, we're living in a police state. They wanna take everybody to jail. They tried to put the cuffs on the kid, but the cuffs slipped off because his wrists were too small. The police came in and told the kid, you know where you're going, right? You know where you're going? You're going to jail. Like they was getting off on it. And then one of the cops was like, you know, I hate that you put me in this situation. He didn't put your dumb ass in that situation. The police, the, the, the substitute teacher put you in that situation. And beyond that, you put yourself in that situation because you did not have to take the kid to jail. You could assess the situation and be like, you know what? Talk to the kid and the kid would have calmed down because from what I saw, the whole time the kid was interacting with the police, he was compliant, manable. So perhaps when he saw the police, he saw the severity of the situation and he calmed down. In any event, the police had enough influence to keep the kid calm and just say, okay, give him a warning and then go on about that business. But they chose to arrest him because those dirty bastards want to lock everybody up. And they get off on instilling fear in these children. Something got to give, fam. The kid is eight years old. He's been charged with felony battery. Felony battery. Do you know if they would have been giving out those type of charges when I was coming up, the whole damn school would have been in prison, would have been in juvie. Felony battery. Come on, fam. If I'm the parent, I'm suing everybody. Starting with the substitute teacher. Whatever little money she make, I'm taking it. I'm getting the school. I'm getting the teacher. I'm getting the police department, the insurance. I'm getting the regular teacher for not being there. I'm suing everybody. I'm suing the lunch, the cafeteria people for not helping. I'm suing everybody. The janitor, if he walked by, and looked at it, I'm suing him too. That's the only thing America really respects, fam, is money 
and blood. That's it. So I wouldn't let that slide. If I'm the parents, I'm not letting that slide. That little boy is going to be traumatized for a long time. Who knows? May even grow up to hate police officers and decide that he want to get a little payback and decide to down a cop who had nothing to do with it. You did? See, these dirty cops, these low-down, incompetent cops, they make it hard for the cops who do claim to be good. They make it hard for the cops who do try to at least adhere to the oath that they took. It's a cold game, man. The police officers, these so-called resource officers, they got to go. Their asses should have never been brought into the schools in the first place. They cause more harm than good. They need to go. If a kid comes to school and the kid is just out of control, he can't maintain, you, you get him to, you know, you put him out of school until he get right. You put it on the parents. It worked in the past, it can work now. But there has to be consistency. You can't be afraid to put a kid out of school because you're afraid that your numbers are gonna go down and you're not gonna get funded. If a kid cannot obey the rules and cannot act civilized in the classroom, then you put them out of the classroom. But you know what? They know that. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?